The Ohio State Crimson Tide had their spring game on today. As you guys know, I'm a Colorado Buffalo fan, but I'm going to give you guys my perspective from a former football player's perspective of the spring game. Shout out to Wheels. Every other city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a info I know. My people know it's mad dog, TV, let's go. To every other city, every city I go, from Colorado to the Bayou I go. Y'all know the motto, get a I know. What's good YouTube? Mag Dog TV back with another video. If you're new here, stopping by for the first time, hit the like, subscribe button, comment. I really appreciate it. Also hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys be aware. The college football season this year is longer than ever. So it is very fitting that on this spectacular April Saturday in Columbus, we here on Fox start our college football coverage as early as as we ever have ryan day and the buckeyes filing in so here we go this is your game format if you are at home and you are you know saying oh i want the scarlet team to win or i want the great team to win here is what the scoring system looks like three for a takeaway three and i'll get you three points as well you saw fielding kick off alone so he gets the first spotlight and the second one is will howard who battled for the starting quarterback spot in kansas state he understands this situation and I think the one thing that Chip Kelly is going to bring to this offense is uh, expanded run game now. Yep. The Ohio State's always had dynamic throwers. Now they have two of the best running backs in the country. You're going to see an expanded run game. I respectfully disagree with this announcer as far as Chip Kelly running the football. We had LaShawn McCord for the Philadelphia Eagles, and he ruined our team. We ain't even going to get into that. But Chip Kelly is a great college football coach, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of passing, high-scoring, fast-paced style offense. It remains to be seen who's correct, but I'm respectfully disagreeing. Put in the comments if you agree or disagree as far as Chip Kelly. Will he run the football a lot more, or do you guys feel like he's going to be pass heavy for the 2024 season? Very business school of depreciating asset, Brady. Yeah, can, can I get a, a, a dictionary down here? I don't, I don't know I mean, what Brady's doing. <laughs> Third down for Will Howard. The pressure did get there, and Buckeye fans, Coach Meyer, are going to hope to see that a lot this year from guys like Jack Sawyer. So we saw Lincoln Keenholz in the Cotton Bowl in back of Devin Brown. He's the guy that gets the second series here. Jeremiah Smith, what can you tell us about number four? He, uh, he's got a chance to be special. He really does. I think where most young men are at this age. So I understand what comes along with that statement, but this young man's going to tear up college football, in my opinion. Devin Brown now gets the third series for Ohio State. The guy who has been here longest understands the offense probably with the most intricacy right now and just the program itself. Chip Kelly, Dan Mullen, and, and Ryan Day. It is a history that goes a long way back. So Devin Brown in the offense with some movement downfield here. Coach, take me to like how you evaluate your guys, Will and, and Devin, in, in a thud tempo style. What are you What are you looking at? Yeah, it's it's the on schedule, and then also like how do they convert on third down? You know, and I think like right here, that's a big third down pickup. Get into the red zone like you want to see how he's going to react converting on third down is very huge for a football team because if you don't you have to punt and then if you have to punt especially if you're going up against a team that has very good playmakers on the offensive side of the football you can find yourself in a hole very early a runner i wasn't much of a runner but when i got in the red zone believe me i was looking to take off if i could third down on the roll Devin Brown ends up at the sideline. This defense, I think we've learned in the first couple series, that's Jaden Bonsu who took him to the paint. And now we see the depth of the quarterback room. Another Alabama transfer officially, Julian Sayan, as he drops it off for T.C. Caffey. Third down for Sayan, climbing the pocket, and the walls collapse again, Joel. You saw Will Howard with his hands to his head. They're testing out the whole new communication system in college football. There's a lot to talk about with the iPads over on the sideline as well and rules about that. And Marvin Harrison Jr. himself was one of those. Certainly, 
Jenny, I was going to say, he looked very serious as you were standing there talking to Emeka, and that's how all business he was. He just walked away because he had to put his helmet on. Marvin Harrison Jr. is definitely a key weapon for Ohio State's offense. It remains to be seen which wide receiver is going to step up and take his role as far as at the wide receiver position. That's a very big shoe to fill when we start speaking about wide receivers, so it remains to be seen who's going to take on the challenge. Obviously, the parents and families are phenomenal. Uh, but to then take them to the next level is, is our goal. So what are you looking for today? Because you've got some veterans, right? Emeka is not going to do anything today. To it's scary stuff. That's what allowed him to be you know, an NFL caliber wide receiver, too, is, is all the little things, how detailed he was. And he shares that and brings that to the way he coaches up these young men. And you can see why. Because, you know, starting all the way back with, you know, Terry McLaurin and KJ Hill and those guys, Paris. Those guys, it just kind of, there was old guy after old guy after old guy, Chris Olave. And they become selfish players about getting the ball. And that becomes, every young player is selfish. If you have veteran players. Oh my, my goodness. Oh my, what a one hand catch right there. He must heard me right there speaking about a wide receiver needing to step up and absolutely just made me shut up right there with that catch right there. That's a hell of a catch by number two right there. Joel, you Where's can step leader? up there, quarterback, if you can you got receivers that make catches like that, right? Well, from, listen, from field level, from down here, that, that ball looks ridiculous. like a borderline throwaway. And then he goes up like that one-handed. What a remarkable... Staff changes. Uh, Joel, I believe you've got Chip Kelly in a moment here downstairs. Yes, sir, S standing with uh, Chip Kelly. That's a nice run from Lincoln right there. So, Paul, when we talked about it a little bit, it was, uh, it was intriguing. Well, that's... It's, it's obviously a great fit because of the former pupil ran over here and he, he started barking calls. He said, no, no more of that play. I was good with that. <laughs> that play wasn't working. That was a good call by him. There we go. Good decision by by his former quarterback. Fella. Much more involved in defense and special teams as well. Yeah, there's no question. You, you and I have talked about that. I think you're exactly right. I mean, today's day and age, the amount of time it takes and everything that's going on. I just think it's so important to free some of that time up. And especially as your roster building, right? I mean, the roster build, like early December. If you think about early December for, for you or any head coach around the country. Yeah, and coach the important thing in today's day and age. And I think that, you know, here we've done that. And that's been the support of so many people. Certainly the players coming back and the culture that these guys have continued to enhance. From basically far sideline to near sideline. See, that one's getting hit by the wind and it got undercut. That's exactly what happened. It's picked off, and so this great defense has a second interception in the ball game. They're going to blow it dead. Jalen McClain doesn't care, though. He's going to the house because he wants to. That whole side doesn't care. Look at him. All the great, all the great team down there. And that was one where the wind might have knocked down a little bit, but it's just a tad late, too. And that's yep. something, that, again, you're accustomed to seeing if it's a freshman out there. A heck of a football play right there by Jalen McClain, being able to jump on that route right there and take it for a pick six. They blew the whistle before he ran to the end zone, but he still ran anyway. And that's the dog mentality that you want to see as a coach from your player right there. So the sky's the limit. Shout out to Wills. He have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to his video and his channel in the description. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this game. I feel like I saw a lot of defense, a lot of defensive weapons, a lot of defensive plays in this game. And that's scary when you give someone like Chip Kelly some defense because he can score without a problem so when you give him some defense to go along with that offense this team could be very dangerous drop a comment let me know what you guys feel and if you guys like the video definitely like, subscribe to the channel peace